she tries on wedding dresses. Next DT. Oscar winner Richard Dreyfus in the education of Max Bickford. CBS Sunday this fall. Okay, I know these words are long overdue. And I know they could never erase all of the pain and heartache that I've caused each of you. But I need to say them. And hopefully someday, somehow, you will find it in your hearts to accept them. Because I'm sorry for everything. Margot, I know that you only wanted to be my big sister. Help me be the best person that I could be. And all I ever showed you was grief. Craig, you believed in me when no one else would. And I showed you my gratitude by acting like a selfish, spoiled brat. Lillian Holden, I almost cost you your marriage. Last but definitely not least, Simon. I only wanted to make you happy. And I let a bird eat your diamond for breakfast, and now it's gone for good, and I'm sorry. Oh, now, don't you give up on that diamond, little girl. I mean, old Cooley's gonna go out and comb this whole island, every inch of it, Till I find that bird, and then I'm gonna rip that rock right out of his beak or his gullet, if well, that's what it is. Forgive me if I don't pitch in, but I draw the line at performing oral surgery on winged creatures. Thank you, Mr. Cooley. Thank you, but there's no use wasting any more time looking for that diamond. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve Simon's love. I've done way too many terrible things in my life, so now I'm getting what I deserve. Hello, Dharma. What about the rest of us here? Are we just supporting players in your new age of enlightenment? Well, I can't answer that for you, Henry. But maybe you should do some soul searching of your own. <laughs> well, you two do all the soul searching you want, but I'm gonna keep searching this island for that bird. Now, don't you give up, little girl, I tell you. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> well, I hope you got that out of your system, because we have work to do. Like what? Dinner. No! No, don't you dare. You get your hands off of Snickers right now. Oh, Henry. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Henry. Come on, I'm going to put him down to a nice little pot of coconut broth. Do you mind if I borrow Lily here? That's Holden. Look. And you are not eating my rabbit. Uh, Give him back. I, I am not spending the rest of my life on this deserted island with someone who is so full of self-pity. All right? Now, either you stop these little sappy soliloquies, or I am making me some rabbit ragu. Uh -huh. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> I'm paralyzed, Ben. It's my daughter's life. How do I... How do I become objective? I've already told you most of what I know about this new treatment. I mean, what more can I say to help you decide? Do you have any questions? Just one. Is it gonna work? As I said, it's, it's already being used in parts of Asia. Save one little girl's life. It, Look, I can't lie to you, Tom. This thing doesn't come with any guarantees. Despite the test that I ran on Leanne's blood, we, we could give her a larger dose and still lose her. Sooner than we anticipated it. Just the fact that you've gotten your hands on something essentially illegal is, is a huge enough risk. Look, I don't care about the risk. I care about saving Leanne's life, but I can't move ahead on this without your say-so. Do you believe that this is our best shot? Your daughter is an incredible person. And we've only known each other not too long. But I want her in my life for a very long time. So as a doctor and as a friend, I think this is the way we should go. But you're her father. You're the one that has to make this decision. I just wish I could talk to her. It's, it's just not right, me making such a huge decision for her. You don't have a choice. By the time she wakes up, if she wakes up again, it may be too late. Why, if you already have the drug? She's gonna need several doses for it to work. If we're gonna take this course of action, we have to start now. Look, I know, Tom, this is a lot of pressure, but you have to make a decision, and you have to make it now.
Emily Stewart speechless. Now there's a headline for you. How do you want me to react? Hmm? When Hal Munt's an arch enemy of anything Montgomery tells me he's on Craig's side? Emily, all I know is that when I try to be objective, and believe me, in this case, that is not easy, the facts don't add up. And if I'm honest with myself, I've got to admit the possibility exists Montgomery might be innocent. All right, you know what? Forgive me if this comes out the wrong way, but are you insane? You think he did it, period. I don't know if he did or not, but he's done so many things he hasn't gotten nailed for. Why not just let the guy rot? I knew you were lying. I was at the boathouse that night. I have my reasons for waiting to tell you. Well, spare me, because I don't want to hear them. I don't want to hear any more variations on the truth. No. Cass, I have too much respect for you for that. I don't care if you respect me or not. This isn't personal. But if I'm going to be effective as your attorney, I need to trust you. And right now, I don't believe a word you I say. I haven't lied to you. No, really? What about those checks from the BRO account? Did Barbara know about those or not? Did you have legal authority to write those checks? We're talking about technicalities. No, we're talking about a crime. One I want no part of. Where are you going? I think I'll go tell Hal Munson everything you just told me. You're my lawyer. I'm not so sure I am anymore. In fact, I'm not so sure I shouldn't wash my hands of you before you drag me and my career down into the muck. That's what Nixon said. Look what happened to him. I don't blame you for being upset. But no matter what happens to me, you can't be implicated. Promises, promises. What are you, my fairy god client? You <laughs> cannot undo the damage that you've done. But now that I'm on to you, I'm sure as hell I'm not going to let you get away with anything else, especially murder. I didn't try to kill Barbara. And I should believe that now because... Look, maybe I haven't given you much reason to trust me, but all that is about to change. How? I'm going to tell you everything. I'll make a full and honest confession. What will you ask me? I've been waiting to talk to you. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Because I know you got something to tell me. I see a card of police documentation and then someone watching you very closely, all right? I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. And it's, I, I can't believe that you can see that. Who are all these other older men around you? Do you have a lot of men in your family? Uh, yes, my grandmother has six sons. You're really afraid at night, honey. I am. Yeah, four oh nights. The last four nights, you've been scared to death. Yeah. All right? I Let can't me... sleep at night. Well, I can't believe you You knew that. You don't trust him, so that's a problem. Yeah. Honey, I'm on my way. Oh, my goodness. You hear me? On my way probably means about two and a half hours. Oh, you got it. You yeah. got it. Are you afraid that someone is keeping a secret from you? Call now for a free tarot reading and discover the truth today. Miss Cleo, you are the best. Call 1-800-270-4640. Put the thrill in your grilled cheese sandwich. Put your finger on butter Pam. And for your popcorn, it's a great alternative to butter or margarine, giving it the finishing touch it deserves. Butter Pam really cooks. Did you know that the powerful heating medicine in Bengay increases blood flow at the site of application to help ease your aches and pains? Did you also know that Bengay's been scientifically proven to increase range of motion, decrease muscle and arthritis pain, and improve flexibility? And Ultra Strength Bengay has three powerful pain-relieving medicines, more than any other leading brand, and that adds up to fast, 
powerful pain relief. Ultra Strength Bengay, the power you want, the relief you need. It's lunchtime. Do you know where your baby food came from? Gerber does. We know which field, which orchard your baby's veggies and fruits come from. And only Gerber has nature lock for that fresh picked taste. Shouldn't your baby be a Gerber baby? Look what Gerber's designed. A more convenient baby food. Your Gerber baby's favorite fruits are now in plastic. So they're easy to carry, easy to open, easy to close. And as always, very easy to eat. Tonight on Day, don't miss the very funny Ray Romano and his shocking sitcom outtake. Plus, music from Buddy Guy and a golden visit from Regis Philbin tonight. Discover a darker side to the dolphin. 48 hours tonight. Of course I want to see the guy go to the slammer, but I'm looking at the facts. Not only isn't there enough evidence to convict the guy, but some of that evidence might actually prove he didn't do it. So? So, nobody should go to prison for a crime they didn't commit. Okay, what about the crimes he did commit, Hal? Like selling black market microchips, or, or poisoning a million dollar thoroughbred? Or how about uh, bumping off that Mei Lin woman in jail? You think he's innocent of those crimes, too? No, I don't. I think he's literally gotten away with murder. Then let the cops nail him for this. He's got it coming ten times over. Emily, it is not that simple. Oh, Hal, make it simple. Look at him. Look at him. Just sitting there, planning his next move. Cocksure his money and charm can make anything go away, just like it always has. Don't you want to prove him wrong? Don't you want to make him pay for all the grief he's caused you since he came back Definitely, to town? Definitely, Emily, but it is fundamentally wrong to use the system for revenge. I disagree. Fine. Disagree. So go write about it. Go write your little heart out. Go write an editorial. But the law doesn't work that way. And I will not see a man go to prison for a crime he did not commit. Even if that man is Craig Montgomery. Am I going to hear this so-called confession or not? I'm going to lay it out for you exactly as it happened, Cass. I sure hope so. Because any more lies, you're going to have to get yourself another attorney to defend you against the charges I'll be pressing. Fair enough. Those checks... I had you issue off BRO. Barbara did not know I was using BRO money. If this is supposed to be shocking me, it's not. Well, you said you wanted the truth? About the explosion. You said you were there. I want to know why. Well, I wasn't there to blow the place up. Then why? Well, Barbara and I had headed out that morning. She found me dipping into the corporate account. She said she was going to turn me into the police. Right? Only she didn't go to the station. She made an appointment with Jack. She secretly arranged to meet him down at the boathouse. Not secretly enough, apparently. Mm. I overheard her on her phone. So I went down there to find out what she was planning, to see if she was going to go ahead and press formal charge. And what happened once you got there? I stood outside. But I, I didn't step one foot inside there, not once. And how is it that your money clip turned up inside? Well, she'd had it. I gave it to her. It was the only thing that remained intact after the explosion. Assuming that all this is true... It is. When the place blew up, how is it that you escaped unscathed? Well, I wasn't there. I'd already left after the, before the explosion. Well, now, let, let me get this straight. You went all the way there to overhear what Barbara had to say to Jack Snyder, yet you left before they even started talking. I saw the look on her face as she was waiting, and I knew she was intent on punishing me. By the look on her face. Oh, oh yeah. She was determined to press charges, and there was nothing I could do to... Except to get rid of her. No. No, that was never an option. So now I had to raise a lot of money fast, and Hong Kong was the only place. So I came back to the hotel, grabbed a few essentials, and I dealt to the airport. You know all the rest? That's it, Cass. That's everything. It's not fair. No. It's not. You need a few minutes. I don't need time, Ben. You need an answer. And so does Leanne, and I know that she would take 
any risk if she thought there was the slightest chance that it might save her life. So you're saying you want me to start the treatments? Yeah, but... That's what I want you to do. All right, Ben, so, uh... When can you start administering this treatment? I have the first treatment in my pocket. All I'll need is a few minutes alone in Leanne's room to inject it into the IV. So you watch the door, okay? Ben, wait, wait. Second thoughts. No second thoughts. But since this is my decision, I think it's only right that I'm the one that does it. I've always been a fighter, and I don't like to lose. So when I found out I could lose up to 25% of my bone due to menopause, you bet I was going to fight back. I had a strong ally who prescribed Actinel, our weapon. Actinel can reverse bone loss and helps your bones become more fracture resistant. Only Actinel is proven to reduce spinal fractures in the very first year. Actinel is a non-hormonal prescription medicine for postmenopausal women at risk for osteoporosis. You should not take Actinel if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or cannot sit or stand for 30 minutes. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Actinel and tell your doctor if you experience difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. Find out if you're at risk for osteoporosis. Then ask your doctor if Actinel is right for you. By this time next year, you can have more fracture-resistant bones. Act now with Actinel. Do you know what your day is going to be like? I don't. I know I'll grab my lunch, or it'll grab me. And what happens if I get constipated? I can't say, excuse me, please, would you mind slowing down? My chemical laxative just kicked in. So I rely on Metamucil. It's 100% natural fiber treats my body gently. Unlike my job. Metamucil. For irregularity, it's the doctor's natural choice. Us gallon-sized bleachers are bigger than Ultra Clorox bleach. Yay! But that's because we contain two pounds more water. Yeah, two pounds more. But it's water. Water? Uh-oh. Ultra Clorox bleach whitening without the weight. Show off your curls. Say goodbye to dry, frizzy hair with new Curl Vive by L'Oreal Paris. Deeply hydrating shampoos, conditioners, and spray gel for 95% less frizz. For more shape, shine, and definition. The Curl Vive system by L'Oreal Paris. Because you're worth it. You're hot. Excuse me? How about a V8 splash to cool you down? No, thanks. I know what you're thinking. Oh, V8, it must be rich and tomatoey. But in fact, V8 splash is refreshing and fruity. Mmm. It is fruity. Now, how about your phone number? No. Come on, I'm surprisingly refreshing, too. Fruity, refreshing V8 Splash with a full day supply of vitamins A and C. Also available in diet. Give me back my bunny now, Henry. Come on, you're such a great. Oh, look. Okay, all right. Here. Oh, yay. Get to hop another day. We'll starve to death, but old Snickers will be happy. Oh, it's okay. Old Snickers, I will never let that mean man touch you ever again. So, uh, now that you have your little bunny wabbit back and uh, you've given up all hope of finding your long lost, recently found, lost again diamond, uh, have you given any thought to what you're going to do for the rest of your life? Well, I thought I might devote my life to doing good deeds. Good, that's great. Uh, except I don't know, maybe you haven't noticed this, but there's not too many old ladies running around here on the island. <clears throat> no, but I thought I might help you and Mr. Cooley learn some of the lessons that I've learned. Okay, no, 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 no. No one's been able to change my evil ways, all right? Not my mother, not my father, not all the bosses I've ever had, not even all 47 nuns in St. Mary's School for Boys. Well, maybe you've met your match. <sighs> That's it. That's what? You have just given me a brilliant idea for our future that doesn't involve redeeming sinners or uh, therapy sessions with coconuts. What are you talking about? 
a plan of action, a course for our life that might actually make life on this island bearable. Or, uh, dare I even say it, fun. What exactly are you proposing, Henry Coleman? Marriage, my dear. You are not serious. Oh, no? No? Katie Peretti Fraser, would you do the honor of being my bride? Ground control to flight 787, Hotel Victor. Do you read? This is 787, Hotel Victor. You are heading into a dangerous storm. Better turn back. Over. Yeah, look, thanks, but I, uh, I think I'll take my chances. With your life? Turn back while there's still time. Simon is my husband. Mine, not yours, not hers, mine. I'm Simon's wife, and I have duties to protect the man that I promised to love and cherish for better or for worse. Why are you with this tramp? Not now. Stop. I don't care who you think you are, but if you don't stop pawing my husband, I'm going to introduce you to my fist. Is it really so hard to believe that I found someone who's romantic and adventurous? <laughs> someone who wants to sweep me off my feet? Right, right. And who is this enigma? Oh. <laughs> okay, Freddy, let's get this show on the road. Okay, fine, it's true. I lied to you. I lied to you about everything. I... <sighs> please don't hate me, Simon, please. Just don't hate me. Uh. Ground Control, this is 787 Hotel Victor, requesting a change in flight plan. Where to? Over. I don't know, how about some, some tropical paradise loaded with sexy, rich, uncomplicated women who don't induce insanity. Over. You're a good man, Ben. Leanne is lucky to have you in her life, and that's why I wouldn't do anything that would wind up hurting you, because Leanne wouldn't want it, and neither would I. This is not the time to argue. I'm not arguing with you. You said it was a simple procedure, that you simply inject the drug into her IV tube now. Couldn't I handle that myself? Theoretically, yeah, I could talk you through it. And that's what I want you to do, Ben. Because I made up my mind, because that's my little girl lying in there, possibly dying, and I love her. So do I. I can see that. And what you've done for Leanne, it means so much to me. And so much to Leanne, but she is my little girl, and I have missed so much of his early, her early life. I may have even caused this to happen to her. Well, man, we've already been through this. And Leanne's it, condition is not your fault. It may be a fact, Ben. And it may not, but I know, in order to make this right for Leanne in my heart, I have to do this for myself and for my daughter. Hard man to argue with. So tell me, how is this going to work? There's a port on the IV tubing. Now, it's, it's small, but if you look, you can see it. There's alcohol next to Leanne's bed. You use that to wipe off the port on the tubing where you're going to insert the needle. Pinch off the tubing below the port. Insert the needle into the port. Slowly inject the serum. Whole thing to take no more than two minutes. Well, I watched John give her sedation ideas. It's going to work the same way. It's exactly it. Leanne, do you use 
Uh, hey, Dr. Dixon. Uh, good to see you. I, w I uh, wanted to talk to you about a patient. Emergency? Uh, no, not, not exactly. Well, I have to wait. I have no, no, wait, 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 wait. You can't go in there. Killer headline. Seems a pity to waste it. Well, it doesn't mean much if it's not true. I mean, even in the intruder. Cute. All right. Tell you what. I'll nix the story. If you can convince me, there's a decent chance Craig didn't do it. You'd do that? Yeah, sure. I mean, I told you I may be a sleaze merchant, but... You've got a conscience. Yeah, I remember. Good. Now go ahead. Make your point. Okay. For starters, timeline doesn't work out. Several people saw Montgomery leave the Snyder Memorial Service. There's no way that he could have driven to the boathouse, made that bomb, and planted that bomb in that time. That's a good point. But disputable. All right, dispute this. That bomb was a very sophisticated, homemade device. There is no way that Montgomery has the technical background to build a bomb. Of like course that. he doesn't. He paid someone to do it. To build a bomb? <laughs> but why would he do that when his M.O. has always been linked to poisoning? Winston Lowe, Malin Chang, that race horse. All right, mind if I play devil's advocate just for a minute? Be my guest. It makes sense that he would forego poison, considering all the poisonings have been linked to him in the past. Yeah, but he's always gotten away with it. Why change his M.O. now? To keep people like you and me guessing. And as for him not being smart enough to build a bomb, of course, he would never dirty his own hands, Hal. He paid somebody to do it. Mm, maybe, maybe. See, but it still doesn't fit in with the timeline that we're talking about. Barbara only uncovered the fact that he was embezzling from her a couple of hours before this explosion not that there's there's no way that anybody could have constructed and right. placed a bomb like that in that amount of time I mean, that's Nobody. true that's true and barbara had no reason to go after him until after she found out craig was stealing from her <sighs> you see you see now this is why i find myself in this very very bizarre position of barking about how one of the guys that I detest most in this world might just, in fact, be innocent. So who else have you been barking at, huh? Besides me. Jack Snyder? Oh, Jack's got his own reasons to hate Craig Montgomery. He's not going to listen to any theories about his innocence. Yeah. What about Margo? Oh, and she's got her hands full going after her brother and her conflict of interest there. I can't go to her until I've got something absolutely concrete. So, in other words, we're the only two people in the whole world who know what you're thinking. Just you and me, kid. Even all that's happened, I wish I didn't take off when I did. Maybe I could have helped. You're asking me to believe that you were out of your shot by the time the bomb went off? Yes. If I had known Barbara was hurt, I would have been right there. Craig, you lied to the police about being at the boathouse. You've lied to your attorney. How do you think this is going to look in court? All we have to do is prove I left before the explosion. And how do we prove that? All we have is your word. And the DA will have proven that that means nothing. In the end, the jury will be left assuming that, at, at worst, you plotted your wife's murder, or at best, that you left her to die in a burning building. So you're saying I've slit my throat and all that's left is for me to bleed to death? New Dixie Rinse and Reuse is pretty amazing, but can it stand up to the heat of a microwave? What do you think? New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. Any tougher and they wouldn't be disposable. This is New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. These are some of its competitors. How do they hold up to heat and moisture? Well, you tell me. New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. Any tougher and they wouldn't be disposable. We're both artists with very different canvases. But our color is the same. Light Ash Blonde number 102 from Nice and Easy. Knockout color that fits me right. And fits me brilliantly. Nice and Easy works with your own tones and highlights. So whether you color to cover or color to color, you get the most natural color for you. 
which is truly the best color there is. Blonde. Nice and Easy by Clairol. A beauty all your own. Look who just showed up! Introducing new Kit Kat and Heath Bites. You get the feeling everyone is staring at us. Is my bag open? New Kit Kat and Heath Bites. For a big taste, have a little bite. Your hands are beautiful. I hate my hands. She's really mortified about her wart. This can help you. Dr. Scholl's Clear Away Clear Wart Remover. It's the only one with a clear strip. Cool, it's clear. Nothing gets rid of warts faster. Now you can hold hands. Mom. <laughs> clear Away Clear Wart Removers. Okay, so we're not talking some deep spiritual cleansing, but almost. That's how deep this stuff goes. St. Ives Apricot Scrub. St. Ives is the only one with soothing Swiss botanicals plus 100% natural exfoliants. Those little scrubbers that slough off dull, dead skin so I get smoother, healthier, brighter skin. Maybe this is deep spiritual cleansing. And now for a sensitive skin type. An ultra gentle apricot scrub. Only from St. Ives. Brilliant! When I start each morning. When my kids need a playmate. When I'm celebrating with family. Prozac Weekly is here. Ask your doctor if it's right for you. You can learn more at ProzacWeekly.com or call free 866-WEEKLY-9. Talk to your doctor today to see if a free trial could be right for you. Prozac Weekly is here. lovable creatures of the sea, but... I felt this jaw grab and pull me under. There's a darker side to the dolphin. 48 hours tonight. The all-new Big Brother is here. Who will be the ultimate housemate? Will it be Mike, the bar owner? Or Monica, the teacher? I have a very strong personality. You take it or you leave it. Will it be Nicole, the personal chef? Or Hardy, the account executive? I'm going to do whatever it takes to be the person that wins. An all-new Big Brother 2 premieres CBS Thursday acted like idiots. So whatever happened to you, you deserved. They fought like cats and cats. You run out of trying to move away. No, no, baloney. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on CBS 2. What a mess. Long distance should be less confusing. We at Verizon have decided to clean things up. That's much better. Now call anywhere in the U.S. anytime. And it's just 10 cents a minute. And to top it off, there are no monthly fees, no hidden charges, and no fine print. It's just 10 cents a minute on your direct dialed long distance calls, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Just give us a call. Call toll-free 1-800-211-7186 today to sign up for the timeless plan. Now that's long distance done right. Verizon. James Hahn is sworn in as the new mayor of L.A. at 5. The King of Queens, tonight on CBS. It's all here. beautiful young woman. It's hard to believe that you were the same little girl that showed up on my doorstep a few years ago. But you will always be my little girl. I miss so much of your early life and I guess I dealt with that regret by assuming that we would have so much more time together. I can't lose you again, Leanne. That is why I have to do this. I just pray that I'm making the right choice. You've always had a knack for beating the odds. Please, beat the odds one more time for your dad.
What are you doing with our IV? You better get up fast. Why? So you're not underneath me when I throw up. Oh, oh how could you even mention the word marriage and in that same sentence, the words you and me? <laughs> What's wrong with me? It is not fair of you to ask a question like that when you know I'm trying to be a nice person. Oh, I think I'd make a very good husband. I'm already married. His name is Fraser. My name is Fraser. Yeah, Katie, but he is gone. Let's face it, all right? I know how much you love domesticity, so why not take the plunge with me? You're not going to get a better offer anytime soon. I'm willing to wait. What? No, wait, 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 look. What? Look up there. That's... It's a bird. No, no, no. It's a bird with a diamond in its what? mouth. It's, it's reality. More powerful than a harebrained scheme. Able to shatter uh, hopes in a single bound. You are crazy. No, I'm not yet, but I'm gonna, we're both gonna go crazy if we don't find, figure out how to make the best of this situation. Now face it, Katie, this is our reality. I am not marrying you. Why not? Think of the gorgeous babies we'd make, huh? With my fashion sense and your deceptively wholesome good looks. Forget it. Having your babies is frightening. Have you ever rented that movie, The Omen? Oh, come on now, be nice. I can't be nice when you're being such a pig. What? Is that any way to talk to your husband? Oh, you are not my husband. Nor will you ever, ever be. <laughs> there, there, no. there she is, off and running. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, Freddy. <laughs> Nothing but warm sand between my toes. Margarita in one hand. That was one of the few drinks Katie actually liked. Especially the sugary ones. Oh, what am I doing, all right? Don't think about her. Her family was right, okay? She doesn't need rescuing. No force on earth can keep that lady down. When I think back on these times And the dreams we left behind I'll be glad cause I was blessed to get to have you in my life When I look back on these days I'll look and see your face You were right there for me Control, this is 787 Hotel Victor. Resuming original flight plan. And don't try and stop me this time. Too much of a fool to listen. I gotta make that call. Babysitter. Office. I promised you if you made a strong case, I'd kill the story. I'm a mm -hmm. woman of my word. Hold it. Don't make that call. Is that an order? That's a suggestion. I think you should go ahead and run that story. How? You just gave me a dozen reasons why you think he isn't guilty. Yeah. But go ahead and print all those questions. Be fair. Don't make it sound like you're trying to exonerate Montgomery. Simply present it that as a journalist, you want to you represent all sides. You know what? Do you mind holding that thought? Because if you're going to give a lecture on Journalism 101, I need to take notes, Hal. I don't need to be telling you how to do your job. No, you don't. Sorry. I guess it comes from too many years of being chief and telling people what to do. Sorry. Apology accepted. What are you doing? Will you run the story? If you... If you promise to stand by me, you know, if I start taking heat for it, because the, the reputation of the intruder's been challenged, okay? And, and I'm in no mood to come out of this looking like a fool. Oh, well, I, I can't vouch for the paper, but there's no way that you could come out looking like a fool, not with that faith. What about my face, Val? All those green eyes, you know, they got a spark. Anybody in his right mind would see some intelligence behind them. <laughs> Hello? 
Yeah. Are you are you sure? All right, no, no, you keep me posted. That was my stringer down at the courthouse. Bad news? I don't know. He said uh, he had details about evidence that Jessica is about to present. Apparently, they found footprints outside the boathouse the night of the explosion. And? And they found a pair of shoes, muddy shoes, that matched the footprints. They belonged to Craig Montgomery. Looks like we can place him at the scene of the crime after all. Explosive collection of smash dance mixes ever. Totally dance. Featuring blazing mixes of hits from a massive lineup of music superstars and newest stars. with you no matter where you go with the only album that matters totally dance <laughs> includes scorching mixes from dream pink faithless serena paris dido tony braxton eden's crush delirium featuring sarah mclaughlin moby and more <laughs> Totally Dance. The only collection that'll keep you moving all summer long and well beyond. Featuring Trick Daddy. Joy Enriquez. Tamia. Gigi D'Agostino. French Affair. Rui Da Silva. Kleptomaniac. And more. Totally Hot. Totally Wild. Totally Dance. <laughs> Call now and order the best dance collection ever. Only 1898 CD, 1598 cassette. Totally dance. Nothing comes close. Freezing chicken? Only Ziploc double guard freezer bags have an inner layer that clings to seal out air that causes freezer burn. Regular freezer bags don't. Put an end to freezer burn with the Ziploc double guard freezer bag. Freezing steak? Only Ziploc double guard freezer bags have an inner layer that clings to seal out air that causes freezer burn. Regular freezer bags don't. Put an end to freezer burn with the Ziploc double guard freezer bag. It's 4th of July, and Tina Turner's taking you. Don't miss the fireworks when Tina Turner comes to CBS, Wednesday, July 4th. Senator Elliot Baines is a man of the people, but he's never had a perfect relationship with his daughters. This fall, he'll try to find a way back into their lives. He's born to shimmer, he's born to shine. Senator? Citizen Baines, CBS Saturday, this fall. I'll take it easy. Losing control is not gonna help anything. Wanna make a bet? Oh. You were there. Making a fool of yourself again, Hal? I know about the footprints. The one that proved you've been lying through your teeth the whole time. You were at the boathouse that night. Those footprints prove nothing. Don't say anything else. Oh, listen to your lawyer, Craig. He knows you're in big trouble. Maybe you didn't cover your tracks as well there as you thought. There was nothing to cover, Hal. Craig, that's enough. You know I didn't do it. You practically told me yourself That's this before morning. I knew about the footprints. Do those footprints prove I set off a bomb? Whether you did or not, you were there. You heard Barbara screaming and you didn't do it. Hal Damn Hal, this thing doesn't about change it. Anything. No, it doesn't, because the damage is already done. Barbara's in a coma, and if she dies, Montgomery, it's on your head. You heard Barbara screaming. You knew she was hurt, and you left your wife to die? You don't know what you're talking about. You know I don't know if you're Let's guilty of attempted murder or not, Craig, but one thing you are guilty of is being a coward. Oh, you know I don't what? Know Hell, you said you your piece. That's yourself. enough. Listen, you know Lady Munson. You're going Hell, down this time. Go, you're going down for good. Get out of there, Hal. Go. 
Nothing like another tantrum from Hal to brighten your day. It's no joke. Now that they've got these footprints linked to you, Hudson is the least of your concerns. The only thing I'm concerned about, Cass, is you. Are you with me or not? Uh, everything seems to be in order. Yeah, the tubes are just all tangled up. I yes, was just straightening them out when you came in. I don't think you did any damage, but the next time you suspect that there's a problem, I wish you'd call the nurse. Sure, I'll do that. Ben and I have been talking. The current course of treatment for Leanne doesn't seem to be working as we had hoped, so I think it's time we made some changes. What, are there other options? Yes, there are, and there's one I'd like to start right away. It's called plasma Yeah, you know, I was just telling John that I'm completely opposed to pursuing that this option. This could prolong Leanne's life. At what cost? True, there is a risk. There is always a risk. But what choice do we have? These other things that we've tried have just left her condition deteriorated. Well, why is Ben so opposed to it? I, I believe he thinks it's a drastic measure. It's a desperate measure, huh? but I believe it's time for desperate measures. And I think we should start right away, or it may not work at all. We may just run out of time. Well, John, I hear what you're saying. Um... But I can't go along with it. I, I will not allow you to start a new treatment on her. This is, this is fabulous. Whoa! My plan worked like a charm. What are you so happy about? I just told you I would never marry you. Uh-huh. It's exactly what I wanted. Katie, the whole proposal was just a ploy to get you back to your old self. I was never really going to marry you. Come on. Why not? What's wrong with me? Nothing. Nothing now that you got your fighting spirit back. Oh, you want to see fight? I'll give you fight. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Well, if, if you don't want the flowers, just say so. I don't want flowers or proposals or propositions. Just because I am the only female on this island does not mean that you men, and I use that term loosely, ah. can fight over me. Well, well, who's fighting? You're the one throwing the coconuts. Listen, if we are going to be stranded on this island forever, I just want to make sure that both of you know I am not interested in either of you. Am I clear? Crystal. You, Cooley? Oh, that's a bell. But, uh, see, I, ju I just thought maybe these might cheer you up. Uh, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Let me tell you something. Back in civilization, flowers are a sign of romance. I just want to make sure that you don't focus any of your romantic fantasies on me. Well, I will try to restrain myself. How about I shove these little signs of romance down your throat, That'll Henry? the best thing you've cooked up on this island so far. Oh, Go keep, ahead. Keep up the mouth and I'll shove them somewhere nah, else. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on. Don't mess with the flowers. <laughs> Why? Well, because they're cursed. What are you talking about? Well, th there's a legend on the island, uh, and, and it's a scary one at that. You're a scary old island legend, Cooley. Hey, don't mock the flowers or the curse will fall upon you. <laughs> um, it's too late. That's already happened. Well, shut up, Henry. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Cooley. Tell us about the legend. <clears throat> well, it all started with this handsome young sailor who was stranded on this island many years ago when the gods were battling for supremacy amidst the heavens. Well, now, which gods are these exactly? Were they Greek, Roman, or just generic garden variety? Or... Go on. Well, see, this sailor, he loved the sea. And the goddess who ruled over this island, well, her name was Lucy May. Lucy May? What? Oh, is she the goddess of country music? No, she was a goddess of jealousy. Anyway, yeah. she didn't want this handsome young sailor to leave the island, so she turned him into a flowering plant. That flowering plant. Now, the legend goes that if anyone viciously destroys that plant, they will be cursed for all time. But if they gently pull the petals off and drop them into the ocean, the sailor will find peace, and they will be granted their deepest, most sacred wish. You use Desitin, right? I love it. Well, the hospital gave me this. Desitin Creamy. Haven't tried that before. Silky, isn't it? Wipes off gently, too. Mm -hmm. And it's still from Desitin. Desitin or Desitin Creamy. Nothing treats your baby better. Today I made an omelet. I picked an apple. I sent the facts. This is about chemotherapy and living your life. This is about Procrit 
If you're a chemotherapy patient and you feel tired and weak, ask your doctor about Procrit. I played a game. Procrit is a natural way to regain red blood cells lost during chemotherapy. And more red blood cells can mean more strength. I caught a fish. Procrit is safe and effective. In studies, only diarrhea and edema occurred more often with Procrit than placebo. Procrit is for patients with non-myeloid cancers. I went to the store. Call now and learn how Procrit can help you get back the strength you need. Your strength for living. says free fries are like a dream come true. Yeah. Burger King fries taste better than ever, and now they're free when you buy a Whopper. Great Whopper. Yeah, and free fries. In the land of burgers, the flame broil Whoppers kick. Bonnie's toothpaste stopped fighting plaque before her first cup of coffee. Clark's won't make it past his donut. You see, most toothpaste can't fight plaque after you eat or drink, when teeth become more vulnerable to bacteria. But Colgate Total is different. Its patented combination of ingredients attach to teeth to protect for 12 hours, even after eating and drinking. Aren't you glad you use Colgate Total? Colgate Total, 12-hour protection. Comfort. It's what makes your baby happy. That's why there's Carnation Good Start, the only routine formula whose proteins are broken down to be easy to digest. They're called comfort proteins, and only Good Start has them. Carnation Good Start from Nestle. This week, when a con man's game... He's the one who caused all this! ...backfires. His in-laws are fighting mad. You have no idea. How angry I am. Now, what happens next? I'm still her husband. And I'm not going to bail on her. Is everything. I will never let Deacon Sharp near you again. On the bold and the beautiful. It's everything. All right, Tom, listen, I know this is going to sound rather blunt, but I don't think it's your decision about Leanne's medical treatment. I'm her doctor. I'm her father. Yes, with no medical knowledge. I've heard enough to form an opinion, and I don't want her to suffer anymore. She's been through enough. Oh, I have to say that I agree. It's not your case. Tom, I know what it's like to stand here and watch your child suffer. But it's not your decision to make. It's Leanne's. And when she wakes up, I'm going to give her that choice. I injected the drug. Okay. Now, what we have to do is wait for it to work. This new technique that John wants to start, is it going to be in conflict with anything we've already done? It would completely negate the effects of the serum. That's why we have to stall him. Well, we can manage that. In the meantime, what is... What's next for her? When do we administer the next dose? Soon. For now, we just have to wait. Pray. Are you in or out? Getting out is so tempting. But if you end up with another lawyer, I could end up in court for aiding and abetting your BRO scam. Then you'll stay on the case? I don't have much choice, do I? <laughs> you won't regret this. Oh, I won't? Consider yourself warned. One more lie, one more convenient omission, and I am out. Because. I would rather face charges than deal with an indefensible client who lies as easily as he breathes. So, how was that story? It was nice. For a fairy tale. Well, I say that we all get down on our knees and pray to Betty Jo. Lucy May. Mm. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to be alone for a little while. Oh, no problem. Now, Hank, let's, uh... Let you and me take a hike. What do you say? Yeah, fine. As long as you never call me Hank again. Don't tell me any more of your legends, all right? Uh... I can't believe I'm actually this desperate. Oh, Simon. 
then my wish my deepest wish my only wish is to see you again where are you you slippery little island found you once and i'll find you again question is will i find you katie if i do will you still be alive Better be because I want the joy of strangling you myself. Okay, Charlie, time for bed. I'm not kidding, Mister Charles. I'm really not kidding.